let's try to set up snow pipe to ingest parquet data from s3 to snowflake so that we are able to set up a completed automatically pipeline to ingest data from s3 to snowflake so the steps are same first of all we have to create a healthcare underscore parquet table you can set any name and make sure you are using the correct data types that are respective uh, as per the respective inputs that you are receiving from s3 file so let's create this table healthcare underscore parquet table is created let's verify on the left side healthcare underscore parquet table is there the next step is to create the parquet file format we are not creating the integration object again because that is already defined so we already have a connection between AWS IAM and Snowflake creating parquet format that is done now creating stage object which will where we have to specify the complete S3 path from which we have to take the data. So I'm again removing this specific file since we want to take all the files that comes under parquet folder on S3. Let's verify what is there right now under this folder. So if I go to parquet, you can see there are three files right now under test snowflake bucket, snowflake folder and under snowflake we have a parquet folder. So these are the three files. So now I'm writing the same S3 integration object that we have used before and we are mentioning which file format we have to use to ingest the files from parquet folder. Let's create this stage object. Stage object has been created for parquet format. Now we can, we can create a pipe to automate data ingestion from S3 to Snowflake. The same steps that we took in the previous section to load the data uh, from parquet files of S3 to Snowflake we have to take the same steps here as well to set up the pipe the only thing that changes here is just the pipe statement that we are defining here so you have to write create or replace pipe then you have to define the location at which you have to create this pipe so I can say uh, my pipe that is fine then we are saying auto ingest is equal to true again this is an important property so that the data is automatically ingested once it is there on S3 location then you have to write as copy into this table which is healthcare underscore parquet table of public schema from which location we are specifying select these respective columns make sure you are writing the correct column names and given giving the correct spaces and then also giving the correct data type from the files that you are receiving from S3 and like here you can see that I have defined this uh, cases of each character of this column name as per the original file on S3. I can show you if I go to any file like healthcare underscore park healthcare.parquet this is a parquet file so file preview you can see that it is the exact name that I have used on Snow Snowflake as well and at the end I am using metadata file underscore metadata dollar file name which is a in de by default property of Snowflake that I am using right now to find out from which file the data is coming then we are also defining file row number and the timestamp at which the file will be loaded to snowflake and we are taking all the data from the stage object that we just created for parquet files let's run this so my pipe has been successfully created we can click on show pipes but we already set up the pipe so it is not required to again uh, set up the event notification so if you want to know how we set up the event notification of S3 you can refer to the previous lecture where we loaded the data using Snowpipe as CSV file. So this is the same ARN that it has generated we can just verify go to S3 go to bucket properties and scroll down you will see events that we set up click on test Snowpipe event that we created edit and you can see this should be the same ARN that we created or pasted it here you can see it is ending with 3g xeg and there also it is ending with 3g xeg so pipe arn will not change once you have done the setup for pipe you don't have to bother it again just create on new tables to ingest the data using snow pipe now we have set up a pipe already let's check if there is existing data in this healthcare underscore parquet table okay so it is showing some error so yeah now it is fine because i missed to include the semicolon 
so it is showing that there is no row right now in this table we can check it again yeah so it is empty right now what we can do it now go to s3 go to this bucket and right now we already saw that there are three files in parquet folder what we can do we can add one more file you can also do it manually but i'm copying it from some other location so i'm copying this snowpipe underscore sample dot parquet file actions and copy this to the location snowflake parquet and i'm pasting it here and copy we can take a quick look at the data parquet so we have these kind of uh, details in the parquet file let's go to snowflake and try to refresh this table so it is not uh, loaded yet but but we can wait for a few seconds and retry let's try it again so yes data has been loaded you can see 2012 rows has been loaded from s3 location to snowflake and these are the respective columns and you can also see that we have converted a one we have converted one parquet file into a relational table as well if i go to the extreme right you can see the file name parameter that we have defined it will show from which file these records are coming in to snowflake let me expand it so you can see it is coming from snowflake folder and under it parquet folder and this is the file from which this record is coming in and this is the file row number like which is the row on that file we can verify and this is the load stem at which this file was loaded now we can check the row number just to verify this came from that file itself we can go to s3 and this was the file sample underscore snowpipe underscore sample dot parquet we can check the first record so average cover charges is 2000 sorry 20800 let's go back so you can see average cover charges are same we can also check the uh, second record or maybe third record 48895 so this is the first record this is second this is the third so yes the values are same so this means the file has been loaded successfully and without any errors and this is how we can set up snowpipe for parquet files in the next lecture we will set up the snowpipe for json files as well